What's up, you guys, and welcome to Read the Room. My name is Chase Dark Sage, and today I'm your host for another Crazy Diamonds Demonic Heartbreak read through. And the last read through we had basically Rion was the fuse that was supposed to be lit, and Nigelsuke, and now she has taken over. And now her new assignment, predicted by Toth, is to shoot whole horse in the head. Oh, the turn of events. And then we have a newer, bigger bad guy that we have to face who kind of has the will of cars or his grandfather, I believe, was inspired by cars. And now he has Toth in his hands instead and has Boingo in the other. So now we have Boingo's book. We have Boingo being put up for ransom, probably. And this guy just seems to be pure evil and he wants to send humanity. There are some very bizarre people in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. But if it wasn't, it wouldn't be this manga. But before we actually get into this read-through, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the Patreon. Lowest series of dollars. You can see these pages weeks, weeks, weeks at a time. And I'm blurred. But if you do want to keep up with what I'm posting weeks ahead of time, well, you can become a free member on the Patreon. And I do want to advise you guys to become a free member. That way you can get the updates on what's happening with some of these read-throughs that I am doing. But with all that shilling out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the read-through because I am hyped. Very hyped. After being trapped by Josuke, Whole Horse is. All right, so now we're going back to the dumpster that Whole Horse was in, disrespectfully. I mean, me personally, I wouldn't take that. But that's me personally, though. All right, that dang Josuke, where'd he run off to? Oh, yeah, that boy's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and go on to the next page more importantly why is that lady got the comic book don't tell me she's found out about his future telling powers oh and i feel like i've seen that hairstyle somewhere before oh maybe he's remembering khaki okay boom it's getting late uh oh wait uh oh it broke wait this boy's about to have ptsd from the last adventure he had with boingo all right yep he's having ptsd oh wait no 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 this is the night in Egypt where everything was going down. All right, D did I lose the Joestar group? But if that's the case, how am I still alive? If Dio knew we had failed in our mission, he we, he'd have gotten rid of us for sure. Uh, Boingo, it must be because there's something more important than getting rid of us happening right now. Are you saying the Joestar group is fighting Dio right now? Dang it, this is a good Boingo. All right, so now it looks like whole horse grabbed Boingo. Oh, okay, now we're getting to the events of where he saw the Emerald Splash. We gotta get out of here, Boingo. Now even the Joestar group can, defeat, can beat Dio. And once he's done with them, we're going to be next. Oh, <laughs> that boy said, yeah. We have no chance of surviving if we stay here. <laughs> I mean, y'all would have no chance of surviving either way, technically, but let's keep going. All right, so now whole horse is looking up. All right, so now he's seeing the emerald splash where it broke the clock. Okay, what was that? All right, so now now he's seeing Kakuin in the... Oh, okay, now he's seeing Kakuin in the little... Uh, dang, what's that thing called? The water tower thing. All right, so now he sees Kakuin bleeding at the mouth. All right, Kakuin? Ugh. All right, so now he's looking at the clock again. Wait, are we... Are they... Are we, are we going back to present time? Are they still fighting him? It's over. It's all over. No, it's not. Kakuin's not the sort of guy to panic and shoot out the clock while he's dying. All right. I fought him and his buddies enough times. I know that for a fact. He's discovered Dio's secret, and he used his last of his and he used the last of his strength to tell his allies what it was. Oh my gosh! Having to see Kakuin die again is insane. All right. So now we see Kakuin sadly passing. I never did anything but obey Dio, but you. All right, slump. Now I understand why I lost to the Joestar group. I had already lost the deal before I ever faced them. I gave in to that fear. I lost from the very beginning, and I have nobody else to blame. I bent the knee to my own cowardly, feeble fright. Oh, oh, feeble fright. Okay, okay. Mm, okay, okay. Wait, are we about to get the character development moment right here? Or the character growth moment, I mean? Okay. Why well, I just remember that. I've got a bad feeling about this. Duh! Turn. That was, all right, minutes before. Senpai, dang it. I know she came this way. Now Josuke is looking around. All right, so now we got Pet Shop's brother doing what he does. <laughs> I don't expect an answer, but let me ask you. All right, is this that parrot stand attack? Didn't whole horse kill it? All right, so now, oh, now we see Rion. Senpai, did the parrot stand get her? All right, now Josuke is looking around, but something's not right. Could this all be bait to lure me and whole horse in? Okay, see, Josuke is thinking right now. All right, if it is, then I've got to keep my distance. Okay, I like where this is going too, but what is this stuff on the ground? Is this a rope right here? All right. So now it looks like this rope is around Rion. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, but it looks like he's putting the rope together. All right. So maybe he's trapping Rion in the rope. I don't know. Yep. Yep. Gotcha. All right. So now we're maybe looking at Rion. Oh, no. That's Boingo with a wig on. Huh? What are you doing here? Uh, all right. Now. Oh, no, 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 no. Josuke cannot be taken over because how's whole horse going to deal with everybody? How is Whole Horse going to deal with everybody? <laughs> he just has a gun. <laughs> All right, so now the parrot stand attack is out, and now it's hitting Josuke and Boingo. Yeah, this is GG's right now. All right, so now... Wait, 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 wait. Josuke is being transported to Egypt? 
Wait, 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 wait. What? I know this road. All right, we're in Egypt. This is Egypt? Seriously? And here I thought my first trip overseas would be to somewhere like Hawaii or Guam. Oh, Hawaii. Hmm? Hmm? I'm just saying. This is on another level, but the air smells different and it's so dry. It's like the parrot's illusions are getting more and more realistic. Could the parrot's ability be getting stronger because it's closer to us? All right, so he's finally got me cornered. That's what you're thinking right now, isn't it? Rumble, rumble, rumble. Oh yeah, they both afraid of that R right behind him. Look at that D-O-R right there. But wait, so I know my boy Luis on Patreon was saying something like, you know, it's kind of more weird, not the fact that Josuke knows about his stand, but the implications of Josuke knowing Dio. And not the fact that he is coming face to face with Dio, kind of, not really. This has weirder implications, especially at the beginning of part four, because when he acts so surprised and strange when Jotaro is explaining to him what has happened and who he is, it kind of doesn't add up all the way. It, I'm enjoying this for what it is. I'm going to just say that. I'm enjoying this for what it is. Let's keep going. All right. So now we see uh, Pet Shop's brother on DL's shoulder. Oh, he, 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 what the heck? This fear. It's making me sick to my stomach. Yo, how is Dio this powerful aura wise? And Josuke has never even met him. This is crazy. Am I wrong? You put yourself into checkmate. The moment you deluded yourself into thinking you could escape. Oh my gosh. And the way that the artist is doing Dio right here, I do like it. Okay. The Theo, they take pride in the fact that the very birds you train will be the ones to end your life. Oh, now Josuke is looking scared too. And now it's like, oh, that that's actually Pet Shop. Okay, that's actually Pet Shop. Spikes of Ice, is this bird a stand user too? All right, so what is Josuke? Oh, so this is how Whole Horse heard the door earlier. Huh? If I'm being made to relive the bird's past. Wait, ooh. Ooh, okay. I've got no choice but to go through the same hell the man killed by Dio did. All right, no chapter next issue. Is there any way to fight the, the inevitable? All right, to be continued. Oh, look at Joe Skin at the bottom right here. All right, we're done with chapter 10. Let's go ahead and read these illustrator's notes. My wife started playing Seaman now. What is Seaman? All right, let's go ahead and go on to the next chapter. And ooh, this chapter cover right here, it, it's hard. Oh, this is hard right here. I, I like this. Oh, I really like this. And then we also have another color page right here, an encounter with Rest of Spirits, JoJo's first spinoff comic set between the events of part three and four. All right. And then we got Crazy Diamond's Demonic Heartbreak, chapter 11. And we got Josuke and Boingo in the streets of Egypt, which is crazy. I did not think that Josuke was going to go all the way to Egypt. Oh, this is hard. Oh, this is very hard. Let's keep going. All right. An illusionary copy of Pet Shop attacks Josuke and Boingo. All right. Look at the detail on Pet Shop, though. I'm glad that they got this artist for this manga or this spinoff right here because he's doing justice to the actual artwork of JoJo's right now. Ah! All right. Like, but it's not real, though. This one's just an illusion. I'm just reliving the attack that someone experienced in the past. But still. All right. This pain's the real deal. Gah! All right, so now Boingo is tied up. What is Crazy Diamond doing? Is he taking the rope off of Boingo? All right, now Josuke is just breathing heavily right now. It's no use. My stand can't fix injuries that aren't real. How does it feel to be killed by the very birds you poured your heart into raising? I, Dio, have seen a century pass since I rejected my own humanity. As such, I have long forgotten how humans think. And as a being so utterly superior to humanity, I have an obligation to rule over them, don't I? However, it begs the question. Uh-oh. Should I rule them with absolute fear or offer them even the slightest amount of comfort? I haven't yet discovered the answer to that. Oh my gosh, look at all the people just behind Dio, either praising him or like respecting him out of fear. Okay, this is, I like the imagery right now. That is why I have chosen to make you my experiment. What? Show me your fear. Okay, this shows the other person that Dio is taking over that Josuke is in the place of. Let me see just how humans act when they feel fear deep, feel fear deep in their hearts. All right, oh, let me see how you tremble with panic. What, what the heck are you talking? All right, oh my gosh, look at that aura that Dio has. Dio might as well have like a third power because his aura is just so powerful that even people that don't know him are getting scared. All right, what the, we're so, I, I know that smell. All right, glug glug, no way, it's gasoline. Could this ability to make things appear out of thin air be what the Joestar group spoke of? Is this the world? <laughs> they don't know about, oh, Boingo doesn't know about the world's power. And obviously Josuke doesn't either. Oh, okay. So now Pet Shop is coming. Oh my gosh. Is he about to light on fire? What? Yep. He lit that match and now he's dropping it in the gasoline. What? Oh my gosh. Now it looks like they're burning up. This is crazy right now. This is crazy. Now Pet Shop's throwing even more ice at them. What is he doing? Is he trapping them inside? Now they're just burning right now. Okay. So now they're set in a like 
a fiery circle right now. The, the flames are gone. Why did it help us? No, it wasn't helping us. All right. It's just playing with its prey. It's cold enough to freeze the gasoline now. We're still in just as much danger as before. In the moment this ice thaws, he plans to have us burned to death. Oh my god. This is like a crazy torture scene right here. Okay. I never thought I'd see this in JoJo's. Let's see. This is an attack that we have no way of running from. Oh. Oh, look at Dio just smiling right there. Why the heck is this freak from 10 years ago so hard to read? When well, I tell you, this manga, this spinoff right here has such great fan service. I am enjoying it right now. I am enjoying it. Uh, no, no way. Hooray. Now you finally graduated from being Dio's underling. Did that prediction I mean? Uh, that, 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 I hear me freed from Dio's oppression? All right. Now Boingo was shivering with the little takeover eyes or whatever all right it was all for nothing after all this time even after he's gone i will never be able to stand up to dio all right hey hey you are you crying oh wait what is Josuke about to say I, I, i'm sorry i i i wish i hadn't dragged you into all this you you stopped whole horse but all this happened because i came out here like an idiot and even though there's no stopping what already been predicted i thought that i could at least do something this is all my fault all right <laughs> that that's a heck of a dumb thing to say. What do you mean it's your fault? This has nothing to do with you. Against something inevitable like this, it doesn't matter what we do or don't do. Oh, Josuke standing up. Well, has Josuke overcome Dio's aura? Okay, and now he's inspiring Boingo as well? I like this. And this attack's no different. It's an attack that went off without a hitch 10 years ago. No matter what we do, we're about to take it full force. We can't help being scared, but that doesn't matter either. All right, so now Josie is standing up just being brave. Oh, because. All right, I'm just gonna ignore the attack itself. Wait, wait, where's Josie gonna take this? Now it looks like Boingo is just getting lit up. Now they're, oh, I like the imagery right here. Okay, it, it's hopeless. All right, what? Uh, they're burning up bad right now. I wonder what's actually happening in the real world. All right. Ooh, oh, yeah, it looks like a huge explosion just went off. But said, Josuke said that he's going to ignore it. So I wonder how this is going to go. Okay, let's see where this goes. Uh, 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 I'm alive? We're. All right, we're back in. God. I fixed this rope so it wrapped itself around our necks just before we got hit. Because as I see it, if you can't get any blood flow to your brain and your body goes numb, that'll shock you right back to reality. Oh, this man, this man Josuke is smart. I took his genius for granted. All right, no matter what kind of illusion you're trapped in, and he's going to middle, I mean, going to high school. So that means he's in middle school right now, technically, but he's graduated from middle school. He is way smarter than the average middle schooler. <laughs> Didn't I tell you, there's no point in fighting back against something inevitable like that. So in those cases, you don't try to force a solution. All right, you just think of a way to get out of it. Oh, that definitely is worse to inspire, to inspire Boingo by. Because especially with him saying like, so in these cases, you don't try to force a solution, especially against something inevitable. So basically, don't fight against the Toth. You don't go against the Toth. The predictions are always going to be correct. It's just the journey that you take getting to those predictions that's what's gonna make it oh, i like it i like it all right so now we see the big bad guy right here what kind of ability does that kid have i had him right where i wanted him how the heck did he get did he do that all right creepy. all right so now oh this boy's getting mad i won't accept this i refuse to accept this oh man he's going crazy right now animals with stands have less willpower when compared to their human counterparts so their stand abilities are held back by their natural instincts it took all of pet sounds willpower to use its ability to record so it never learned how to make use of those recordings and needed another brain to act as a controller oh okay by giving the parrot a piece of my own body i was able to link our souls together oh all right and now we share the same stand okay this is very interesting let's keep going that's how i know josuke gashikata no matter what cheap tricks you use your stand is limited to its one ability but with the wealth of memories this parrot has stocked you'll never win oh my gosh this guy seems way too powerful but then again josuke knew how to get out of that illusion what trick is josuke gonna use to get out of the next one if he does get out the next one and this time i assure you i'll kill you all oh and now we got Rion right here being taken over why does Rion look naked though all right will the captured ryoko be all right to be continued oh man Oh man. But let's go ahead and read the illustrator's notes. I definitely wasn't playing Splatoon for the entirety of my break. I'm pretty sure you was playing Splatoon. <laughs> and then we also have a typesetter's note. Sorry that the SFX have been switched back to using a font. I've been much more busy recently and with people seeming to want these chapters immediately after release, it's much more time efficient for me to letter them with fonts rather than by hand. All right. 
I mean, I'm not mad at that. I'm just glad that this is being translated in English before the actual English release because we didn't even know if it was getting an English release itself. So I am thankful for the work that these people do, especially when it comes to the people or the Yankees team that has been doing this so far. But let's go ahead and talk about chapters 10 and 11. All right, so we just got done reading chapters 10 and 11. And oh boy, were these chapters so good. Now we were missing Rio who came at the end of it and we saw like what she might be doing because now it's like, yo, what is Rio about to do now? Who's going to give her the blicky, which I mean, this dude's a police officer, the big bad guy's a police officer. So he's obviously going to have access to guns. Therefore, he's going to be able to give Rio one easily. But the fact that we had two chapters of us being in Egypt with Josuke and Boingo. I, I don't know how the spinoff could get much better. Like the highs that we've gotten from this spinoff so far have been incredible. The fan service that we've gotten has been incredible. And like I said, I'm not comparing this to Araki's work because this is not Araki's work. But for a spinoff, this is working really well for me. This is very entertaining. I love where this is going right here. Like I said, the way it fits into the actual story, canon wise, if it were to be taken as canon, a bit weird, but I'm all right with that sliding right now. The fact that Josuke and Boingo were both terrified by Dio's aura had to also fight Pet Shop, and Pet Shop was just toying with them. Also, Dio was toying with them too, and this was very in line for Dio's character. He was like, yo, you guys are going to be my servants. But Josuke realized at the end that he was like, yo, this is going to happen. It's just that we just got to get out of this. And the fact that he was like, I can't heal what hasn't been damaged. But the pain is real. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we kind of found a force that not even Crazy Diamond can fix itself. But the pain is still real itself. So all those ice shards or whatever, that ice blizzard attack, like from Pokemon that Pet Shop was doing. Oh man, that looked powerful. Oh, that looked terrifying. Just that whole segment of Josuke and Boingo being in Egypt. First of all, I didn't expect that. That's such great fan service to put us back into that world right there or back in that time, back in that setting. Oh, and then have Josuke be placed into it. And even Josuke was crippled by the aura of Dio. Do you know how powerful your aura has to be for someone to have not seen you? You just stand behind them. They just hear your voice and they're terrified in fear of you. Oh, oh, but it was so crazy that we had that rope at the beginning and Josuke knew like, yo, maybe I can use this rope to my advantage because maybe Boingo or someone here has been taken over by that parent. So the fact that we had that rope at the beginning, I thought that he was just going to pull Boingo, but no, he tied it up against his own neck as well. And he cut the circulation off so that way he could be brought back to reality. Why is Josuke so smart, especially for someone who just graduated out of middle school? This chapter was great. This chapter was fun, very action packed. All, oh, all had me on the edge of my seat. I really, really enjoyed this right here. And I don't know what they could do next. I don't know if they could top this. Like, I really don't know. I feel like this is the peak of this right here. Now they could go above and beyond. We could get some great character growth from Rion. I just don't know yet though. I don't know. But I am excited to see what we do get next. But let me know what you think about this chapter reading down in the comment section down below. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. If you are new to the channel and you haven't already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, post notification bell, like the video, and check out the Patreon. Lowest tiers of all get to see pages weeks, weeks, weeks at a time and unblurred. But if you want to be a free member, you can. You just won't be able to see any of this stuff unblurred or weeks ahead of time. But you do get updates of when I do upload this stuff on the Patreon itself. But as usual, Crazy Diamonds, Demonic Heartbreak playlist, and latest video right here. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out. Peace.